This is the rumor report. Rolling through the city with the radio. Don't blast the big Sue. Hey, mate, say, mate. So I take a lot of pride in finally being here. On the Breakfast Club. And you a radio veteran. Wonder Woman on the radio. I, I would say that I'm definitely one of, the, one of the hardest workers. Tell them what the business is. All right, so Megan Thee Stallion has spoken out publicly for the first time since Tory Lane's sentencing. She was at uh, the Outside Lands Music Festival on Sunday where she addressed her fans and her haters. Yeah, fight with me, fight for me, I really appreciate y'all. So today, I just want to say, F- all my haters, none of that shit you was doing was saying broke me. None of that shit I've been doing is saying to the hottest broke them. And I want all the hottest women to get their f- little finger up right now. So Megan made these statements less than a week after her case against Tory finally came to a close. And we know that Tory was sentenced to 10 years in state prison. Mm -hmm. Uh, During his sentencing, he apologized for his actions and later took to Instagram to clarify that his apology was not an omission of guilt. Mm. Um, Yeah. So he's currently being held in a Los Angeles County jail until he's transferred to the prison where he will complete his sentence. So he goes to the outtake facility and they hold him till they decide where he's going to go. Um, you know, Megan can, can get on stages and say whatever she wants. I respect it. Uh, I still want her to put it in the music, though. Like, you know, mm. she, she's been through a lot. So, I'm sure she so, yeah. so, so that's what everybody's expecting now. You know, after after you go through your healing process and, mm-hmm. you know, you back on stages and, you know, you back in that booth, people are going to want to hear you talk about what you've been through in your music. I'm sure she will. It's been a, it's been a while too, so I'm sure we're ready for some new some new music. Yep. So uh, sources close to Jamie Fox say that he's trying to get back on good terms with people from his past following his medical emergency, and they say, uh, well, the source says since his scare, Jamie's been on a mission to reach out to several of his exes because he wants peace and love with everyone in his life, uh, but he doesn't want just a conversation to clear the air with his ex, Katie Holmes. Uh, They reportedly say he's hopeful that she would be willing to take him back, saying that if she did, it would be a dream scenario for Jamie Foxx. Uh, Katie and Jamie reportedly started dating in 2013, dated for six years, and it's believed that Katie is the one who ended the relationship. I respect that. Uh, It depends, man. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If those people have disturbed my peace, if those people have stressed me out, you know, I'm not. I don't feel in the need to get get right with them. They can stay over there. Okay, but, I'm but he, still healing. He didn't say they still got to be friends. Maybe some things he wants to get off their chest, his chest. Maybe he wants to hear what they got to get off their chest, and then leave it at that. Maybe it ended nasty. Maybe there's some things that he still. I'm not at that place. You know me. I'm not at that place. It's F U T die. That's me. <laughs> I, I, I need some growing. But maybe for him, it's different. I'm going to tell you why I don't want that to be true. Ain't no need for me to sit here and lie. It's because Katie Holmes is white. You know what I mean? The Dr. Umar and me does not want to see Jamie Foxx. We were talking about the other side, him going back. You just talking about... That's what I'm talking about. Okay. You know what I mean? I have no problem with interracial relationships. I just don't want to see Jamie Foxx with You have no problem with interracial relationships, (laughs) but you don't want to see Jamie Foxx with that white woman. When you laid up the way you was laid up, ain't nobody can take care of you like a sister. That, That I know. Okay. So just in case that happens again, I would again. like to see Jamie Foxx with a black woman. Is that okay? That's fine. Can I have that preference? Yes, you can. All right. But but you can't say I don't have a problem with interracial relationships and then say I don't want to see Jamie Foxx with that white woman. I don't see nothing wrong with me talking out both sides of my mouth. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see a problem with it at all. Okay. It's the honesty for me. My mm-hmm. thing about Jamie Foxx and Katie Holmes is like, did they ever, either one of them publicly speak about this relationship? Like, how do we know all this? That is very true. We just seen, like, who seen is him the around. Day? We who just seen him around. We just okay. seen him around. But they never they never said it publicly. Big Stu, who is the they? I agree mm-hmm. with you, Big Stu. We what never you got know in your mouth? Can you swallow what you got in your mouth? And don't come here. You got on crip Whoa. pants. All right? Don't come in here. <laughs> go back, go back to wherever you were if you're going to come in here with that now. <laughs> I'm just okay? saying, you, have, you got that stuff in your mouth. It's, I'm just... eating oatmeal. Relax. All right. Okay, but I agree with Big Stu. Who is the they? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay? <laughs> Who is the day that be putting this kind of stuff out? I don't know. Uh, no. And that is the rumor report. All right. Now, when we come back, we got front page news. Uh, and also, 800-585-1051. We were talking about this topic, talking about marriage rules in dating. All right. And we're going to take your phone calls, 800-585-1051. A gentleman called early this morning, talked about he had a new book. It was Marriage Rules in Dating, and we just thought it was a great topic. Charlemagne believes that you should not put marriage rules in dating. Oh, I agree 100% with him. I haven't even read the book. I mean, they say you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but mm-hmm. I agree with that statement. Don't put marriage rules in dating. See, you can't I, expect you can't expect if we just dating. Don't expect uh, 
me to act like a husband if we just dating don't i'm not expecting you to act like a wife see i kind of disagree because a lot of people they date for a, a, a particular ending for a reason they're not mm -hmm. some people are not dating just to date right yeah, you they're don't, dating you don't because start they, like they want to get married but if i'm let's let's say let's say me and sue are dating right and she goes into my financials and my financials are husband is up. right there that was just stupid. I'm for just you saying that because he's a, as a married I, man. I, I, why? Why? Sorry, sorry, Sue. Say me and Char Sue, me and Charlamagne no, today. I'm right? married too. All Respect right. my wife too. No, no. Eddie, Eddie, no. Eddie's out. No, producer. nobody want to no, be married no. to you. All right, forget I, it. I do want to hear the hypothetical. I'm though. just saying, but you know, if if we are dating, and so you, you in this cup right here, dating. right? And and you look into <laughs> is that good? <laughs> is, there, is, there, is this cup ever there? Yeah. This cup is alright. Mm -hmm. All right, say so me and this cup is is dating, all right. and you're looking into that person's relationship. Let's say you looking at that person's finances or you know credit, and you're like, his finances and credit is effed up. I don't even want to go past another date. Mm. It could it could save you time. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's what I said when I said when you first start off dating, like you don't go from zero to, hey, I want to marry him. Or, I want to marry her. It's, it's a red gradual. Flag. Yeah, just grad just a gradual increase. But you don't just start off with, hey, treating this person like a wife or treating this person like a husband. That's just ridiculous. So what do you think? Um, you know what? I want to know like what changes once you become married that that people who are dating don't know. Mm. Mm. Okay. But let's discuss it when we come back. 800 585 1051. We got front page news, and then we'll open up the phone lines and talk to you guys. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.